you weren't gay, I'd shift you here. I first realised I was gay when I was about 16 in fourth year. I had this really weird dream and I was like, well, I mean, to start off though, I was always kind of like, you know, a little bit different, a little bit feminine. Like, I mean, I'm not fooling anyone. But, like, I mean, some kids were born with a silver spoon. I was born more with a pink spoon that said, hey. So, I didn't fool anyone, like, obviously. But I didn't come to terms with it myself until I was maybe about 16. And I had this really weird dream where I was in this big gold room. Just everything was gold in it. And I was, like, chewing this, like, like pink, like, they were, like, chewets. And I was chewing them, but I started choking on them. And I was like, oh, my God, what the hell is this? So then in science the next day, our science teacher loved interpreting dreams. And I told her this dream and she was like, it means you have something to say. Like, that's why you're choking. You have something to say, but you can't bring yourself to say it. And gold is the colour. It means it's about you. So you have something to say about you. I was like, oh my God, that's it. Okay, I grew up in a small village, Salins in Kildare. And everyone had to play sports, like, you know, even the girls, like, everyone was put into a sports team. So I automatically was into Gaelic football, brutal at it. Like, I mean, I remember, I think I scored once in the whole 14 years I played it, like, and I played that up until about midway through first year in secondary school. But yeah, never good at it. And it was just always brutal at it, like. My first kiss was a girl because I remember I was staying over in my cousin's house and my cousin said to me, it, like it was her birthday or something, and she was like, are you still a frigid? Like, because this was a big thing, you know, God, I, it was before I went into first year, like, you know, you can't be a first year frigid, like, so one of her friends, she was like, oh my God, like, you know, the whole, will you meet my friend thing, like, so it was a whole awkward thing, except it was even more awkward because it was my cousin doing it for me, like. So I'm unfortunately one of the, I feel like one of the few gays that have been cursed with a brutal gaydar. Like everyone else seems to be able to tell straight away when people are even the most subtlest of gays, they can sniff them out like that. I can't, I'm brutal. Like, I mean, a guy could be like grinding up against me and I'd still be like, oh, I don't know. I don't ever feel that I would need to hide the fact that I'm gay now. But sometimes I might just butch it up, like, a little bit. Like, when I'm with family, like, you know, I might, like, you know, I won't maybe talk with my hands as much as I normally do or, you know, stand or pose a certain way. Like, you know, it's really kind of similar to that whole Panty Bliss speech of, you know, checking how, checking yourself, like, checking how gay you look. Like, you know, like, sometimes I would do that, like. You know, trope out, that's me.